Hey guys, it's Carrie here, and today we'll be taking a look at Second Screen, which is basically Samsung's new feature that lets you easily connect your Samsung tablet to your PC in just one click. Look at that. It's seamless, and apparently there's a drawing mode, so that's gonna explore that and see if the S Pen works. As you guys can see, there's no cables. I just have a stand um, for the, the tablet, just because it makes it easier in Wow, so let's get right into it. First thing first, how do you set it up? Well, you need to update to the latest One UI update. I don't remember the exact number, but I'll leave everything down below. And if you have the, have the update, it should be, you slide to the second screen. Let me zoom in. And it should show up right there, second screen. And it comes with two options, drawing and gaming mode. That's what we'll be testing out today in like video smooth mode. And um, all you have to do is press, let me go back out, press the Windows key and K on your keyboard. And you should see a little connect. Like you should be able to see your tablet. Sorry guys, but let me just click my, my tablet and it connects automatically. That's all you have to do. And if you guys wanted to, right now I'm having a duplicating my screen. If you just kind of, if you click Control K again, you can click change projection mode and you can have it extended. So it becomes a second screen. Look at that. And let me go on display settings on my laptop. And you guys can see, let me bring it over. This is the tablet. Let's see, identify. It works wirelessly so this is pretty cool now let's see if the drawing mode actually works quickly wanted to add that it's currently not on the tab s6 light i have it in right now and i don't have the latest update for the tab s6 light but currently it's not available at least from the trailer i've seen and all the research that i've done it's currently not available on the tab s6 light but if it does come on it you definitely bet i'll be making a video about it so be sure to be subscribed to the channel and turn on post notification all right now let's test some of the drawing features i'm going to go back to just duplicating the screen so that way it's easier for me to just have my camera focused on one thing so let me go ahead and bring my mouse over and change the projection mode to duplicate and i just want to say this laptop is a dell workstation it was provided to me by dell this video is not sponsored but it's my new powerful pc a can handle um being extended but just for the purpose of this video i'm just going to duplicate the screen so that way i could just have my camera focus on this because it's really hard to get both of them in frame without looking too kind of faded so let's continue you guys are seeing it in person this reminds me of 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 sidecar by apple let me hide this little taskbar thing i think i can you can easily bring it up again by just playing control or not even control um plus k it's just right there you just hover over it and it just lets you easily disconnect and i must say the resolution looks good there's a some black bars at the top because as you guys can see um that let me zoom in a lot more um as you guys can see the camera is up there so there's still this part of the screen that's not taking up and i think that's just due to the resolution um so it's not like it can't handle it but that's interesting but let me open up um clip paint studio photoshop we're gonna be trying out adobe illustrator on it too and see if that works because right now i am in drawing mode and let's see Clip Paint Studio loaded first, so let's try that. Let me pencil tool make it as big as it can be. And it's not drawing. <laughs> you guys can see, right? Um, it's not taking it as a like a pen input, it's taking it as like a just like a thumb input. Like this is just a hand. It's not letting me draw. Okay, let's go to the settings. Let's see, pen pressure settings. Let me switch from tablet PC to WinTab drivers. Still nothing. That's a bummer. Okay, this is still the early stages of the software. So for now, it doesn't work on Clip Paint Studio. And let me try with Photoshop. In Photoshop, I have the brush open. Let me make the size pretty big, just like Clip Paint Studio. 
it's still the same thing. That's so weird. You guys see that, right? Like, and the thing is, like, I see the little circle. It hovers. That is so strange. Oh man, that's a bummer for now. You know what? Let me try some other apps. So let me try Autodesk Sketchbook. It's usually my default app to like testing since it's so simple. All right, I have the regular app there. Okay, so it looks like it's working, but there's no pressure. Let me draw this way so you guys can see. Okay, so it looks like I can draw. It takes it in, but it looks like it just takes it in as if I, I, I'm just using my thumb on the tablet. Look, there's no pressure. All right, let me go into the settings of this app as well and see if I can um, turn on, let's see, pin mode. No drawing. Okay, so that's the issue here. It's like every time I touch it, like the window bubble comes up. That means it's not seeing it as a stylus. It's just seeing it as just like your fingers, which is, which is, isn't good. That's why they have two modes. Oh, oh man. All right. I'm trying out Autodesk Sketchbook now again, but this time it's like the desktop level app. It's not the one from the one, uh, from the place, from the window store. So let's see if we'll have any difference. Okay, so it's the same thing. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Oh no, this is too zoomed in. Like, it works as if just like my fingers were just drawing it. There's no pressure at all. It doesn't even block my palm. And at least in this desktop version, I, I don't know how to change it to pen settings. All right, let's try Krita then. Create new make this big all right let's start drawing and it's the same issue it's like it's just taking my hand see there's no difference with the pen so all right the pressure isn't working at the recording of this video which is like it's gonna this is the date it's like i'm recording it it's like friday the 12th at like 1 a.m so this isn't working <laughs> but let's take a look at some other features that is sad you know what let me try to disconnect and try doing this with the other mode let me disconnect because there's two options when you connect because i'm not sure if i'm doing something wrong or if it's just like i'm too early in the game for for this because see there's two connection mode drawing and video let's see let's let's try the video on control Command K. Let me zoom out so you guys can see. Command K. Let me connect. Because I really would like this to work with Photoshop. Because if it doesn't work with Photoshop, it's not gonna. You know what? I'm gonna try Adobe Illustrator like I said I was. Alright, we're in Adobe Illustrator. Turn it. Let me try using the simple brush tool. Nope. It's the same issue, nothing's showing up. It's like it's just rest registering like as my palm as a touch screen. That's it. It's so sad. Ah <laughs> Seems like it was so close. You know what? Let me disconnect again and go back to the drawing mode, even though right now they're not working as they're supposed to. And I'm not sure why. Let's go back to this. There we go. Oh, all right, that is such a bummer, but let's use this as a separate screen. Let me show you guys some of how smooth that it works. At least the, the basic, there's no latency, you know? It's just the pressure doesn't work. Uh, I, I installed the WinTab drivers and it still didn't work after that either. So, oh, so sad. All right, for now, let me try and change it back to extend and just use it as a second screen because this is pretty convenient just as a second screen itself. Uh, let me see how well it works. Let's see, let me have, let me hide this. Let me have um, Spotify open. This is so convenient actually. Like those portable monitors are expensive. You know, the main thing I like to use this with is um, Premiere Pro. Because, that's right, let me open up Premiere Pro. Let me start editing this video. It's 1 a.m. Might as well. This is convenient, though. I'm going to use Spotify because, like, the Spotify app is on the Windows Store. So, something more practical. The main thing I'll probably use the second screen for is editing. 
and having references on one screen, maybe coding a little bit. Second screen is always useful, having YouTube right there while, you know, but then there's also the YouTube app. Uh, something more practical than that. Something I could copy and paste, maybe a document? That's where it could come in handy. All right, I have Premiere Pro open, then let me use this as my project bin over here and make it bigger. Yeah, I think this will probably just be pretty perfect for editing. When writing blog posts, I can have like the video there and I could be typing on this screen. This is really nice. Ah, but for now, the drawing feature is just not working. So we'll come back and visit this. Let me know what you guys thought on this. You guys had the same issues. What do you think about this feature? What do you think this means for the future of Samsung and Android? This is, uh, this is still awesome. I'm bummed out, but I'm still excited that this is on here. So thanks to you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.